The conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Algeria against Nigeria. I'm Peter Drury and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. You can get that clear. Crossed in. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Bentelet. Bentelet. Showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. That's surely a foul free kick. Gets up to head it! That's a half-decent try. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so... There wasn't much chance of success. Aimed long and direct. Still goalless at the moment. Fauzi Goulam tries the route one option. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Fauzi Goulam. Played into the middle. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Slimani shoots! Saved only by poor finishing. Slimani puts his foot on the gas. Nicely controlled. Goulan. Mares. Mares plays it in. Good clearance and very necessary. And it's Bentaleb. Bentaleb. Good idea, just poorly executed. And the whistle goes for half time. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organized. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil nil here at half time. Algeria clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. So what now? Mares. Deflected over the goal line for a corner. Towering header! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. But when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Tries to get it forward quickly. Up towards the hour mark, and still no goals. Now it's Slimani. Slimani! Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Bentaleb. Now the pass. Mores. 
puts it into the middle. Tremendous from Slimani. And that is the goal we've all been yearning for. Oh, the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Look, experienced voices need to be heard now, along with good purpose and urgency, and they can get right back into this. Looks to slip it through. And he's made certain that won't get through. Bentaleb. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Great lead! Oh, taken with style! And with that goal comes comfort! A great delivery and a finish to match. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Algeria to have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Slimani. Promising cross. Big relief, it just needed better contact. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Oh, good interception. Four added minutes on the board. And that is it, the referee has seen enough.